Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris, Snail Wars, where we're making the galaxy safe again with our little nautiloids. We have built, well, not a great empire, but not a small empire. And we're trying, we're trying to get rid of the threat that is wall and that is the T-human hierarchy. At the moment, that's what our friends, the space roaches are doing formerly called the holy roaches <coughs> I'm sorry not anymore though but they are gaining and I mean they wanted to start that battle so they are doing most of the work as they are much better than the T humans I mean we could also beat the T humans but <coughs> we can barely hold against the wall, so we're defensive there. We're just moving around our fleets, trying to stop them from coming to us. Because there's nothing else we could do there. And the space roaches are flying around, annihilating everything, which they should do. And we have improved, we have improved again our basic buildings. Hydrophonics farm 4 and 5, nano vitality crops, infusing crop strands with small amounts of nano machines, really, really tiny snails, help create a type of produce that is ultra resilient and the chemical composition of which can be tailored and altered during its entire lifetime. Really good. And what, what next? What would make our galaxy safer again now? Huh. <laughs> there is something, right? Um, but let's first have a look. I mean, these are all really good choices to make. <coughs> I'm just, I want to, I want to see if we can do something here. We have We have a trade agreement with a consolidated star spawn of Cthulhu. We want to get another trade agreement with a um, Rapax if we can. Let's see. With the Holy Roach, it's much too expensive. With these guys, it could be good. So, let's see. For 30 years, how much would you need for 30 years? We'll also give you energy credits. Oh, you're not interested in energy credits, are you? Yeah, it seems like. So, well, 19 years? We'll totally do it. Let's try that out. And why do we want to do it? Um, yeah, nice. We got that. Yeah, because of that. Um, we want to increase our research as much as we can. And that's really a cheap form of increasing our research. Look at that. We have just gained 25% discount on all these. So um, I think we're going now for the Doctrine Refit Standards, because when we have the Durasteel Armor, we want to upgrade the ships. And then we'll probably, with a saved ship upgrade cost, we'll probably just save the amount of minerals we just spent. So, we're going for that first. It's quick, and it's going to be very good. We have Herzfeld here, but we have a better one for this. We have Carbia Pillai. Even better, 2% better. And um, now we have someone better here as well. It means Herzfeld. And now we're sending Rahul Sandaram back on the ship. 
So, everything's going fine here. We have made the deal. We are the deal makers. Yeah, let's, let's make the empire great again. I mean, we're the deal makers. What could go wrong? Because as you see, the upgrade fleet is already 4,000. And it will only increase when we have the better armor. So we'd really love to have it now. Oh, and now we can also increase, of course, the farms. At first we want to increase... Um, Power, because power is something we we need a lot at the moment. Yeah, we can we can cancel that for now. Can maybe go for the better food here. That would probably be a good idea. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can replace something else again. Would be really a great help. So let's do this for now. It will it will benefit us in the end. No, oh, I like re the really I like the music going on at the moment. So chill. And what I don't understand though is why the the Holy Roaches didn't want to get anything from T humans. I cannot understand. It's really strange. The human hierarchy was tested by many wars before we were united. This conflict will only make us stronger. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. The Tilyunisi. Maybe we can integrate them again. Oh, they hate us. Oh, only because we're genocidal. Oh, come on. We only killed Regerians. We didn't kill any uh, Linesis. Do we really only have the Frontier Hospital on this? And this works? Yeah. Wow. I wasn't aware of that. But it works. Why are they so unhappy? Oh, we're in an offensive war. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good, isn't it? Yeah, that's really what you should do with these technologies. The building technologies increasing your resource gain are really very valuable. And you can always look back and, and see if you can do something then. Something else, like replace a building. Oh, and look! Lady Herzfeld has leveled up again. Nice. He's now level 3. Two very good fields of expertise. Definitely a good thing. He is like uh, the son of Leonard Herzfeld, our genius researcher. No, not till on his breath. Finished something. Mm. Increase a little more. Oh, Divya Sharma has leveled up. Our intellectual. Nice going. And Guotan. Yeah, he's busy governing the Hadnock Prime Sector and he's resilient. Hmm. Sometimes we don't have very good governors. Let's see, maybe we can mix it up. 
someone else. Hmm. Not really. Oh, someone died. No, Xian Shen. Oh, poor. We just looked at him. Now he's dead. Wasn't he the... No, he was not the intellectual, but he was nevertheless very helpful to have around. Oh. We should hire in someone new if we, f if we have someone new. Good. Let's see. Oh, we've got another intellectual. Intellectuals are great um, for the later stages of the game. We have that eager guy who is also pretty good, but this guy is really not not bad. 40 only. So the youngest and also intellectual. We'll, we'll take him. And where should we... Yeah, we could, could bring him to Neptulus. There's a lot to upgrade there still. As you can see. So he'll gain a lot of experience there. Which is why we'll put him there. Svetlana has left up. Nice. Yeah, we're nearly unaffected by the war, thankfully, at the moment. Construction. Soon we'll have our refit standards. Kavzak Prime has increased um, its only farm. Probably not the best choice, but still Construction complete. useful. Same goes for this. We'll just build two here. And we'll hope in the end, we'll be able to save one farm, one more farm, in time. I mean, not now, probably, but in time we will, or we should. Research complete. complete the research of doctrine, refit standards, standardizing workflows for upgrading and retrofitting ship components can lead to massive efficiency gains, in this case was correct. 15% less cost. Now, let's see. What would be nice? Slave armies? I'm not really sure. Do we need that? that I mean, we don't have that many slaves, right? And as this is of big use, I'm not totally convinced. Maybe we'll, we'll better go for the collective self or for nutrient replication. <sighs> but I mean, neural implants maybe maybe leading to something else. And in the future, we might not be able to um, annihilate all opponents for a while. So this might be good have it and it's very cheap so let's go for the neural implants just to see what it may lead to hopefully <laughs> just to have it out of the way <laughs> it might be good increase the speed a bit. <clears throat> Let's hope the the Holy Roach and like do something. Construction complete. And there's a fleet here. And what's going on here? We have the third armada. No leader. Oh, we're leader of the Federation now. Oh, that's... I don't know if that's good or not. 
we'll just fly around and kill everything here in the <clears throat> or we could no we cannot really send them over as the the space roaches will disrupt our movement of the third armada again and again so we'll just fly around here kill everything we can find with them which should be enough for us <laughs> Situation log updated. Yeah, yeah, they're sending them around again, so. Suhiri, yeah. Going for better food. Otherwise, we would totally take the fleet, defeat the wall, and win this war. But that's, unfortunately, that's not possible. As you can see that um, the space roaches are steering this, actually. But what we can do is we can give them another admiral. <laughs> we'll give them Arthur Nicholson. And we'll recruit Tao Wang for our, for our fleet for now, maybe. Mm, yeah. Let's give him the third armada, and here comes Tao Wong. Saving us money. <laughs> we'll replace Tao Wong in time. But for now, he's just generating a lot of energy credits for us. <laughs> which is really good. <coughs> And the third armada has the help of old man Arthur Nicholson, the super snail. Yeah, you can see that space roaches are flying around here all the time. We can, I mean, we can maybe set the fleet stance to aggressive to spice this up a little bit. <laughs> I think that should be nice. Maybe that's not something they, oh, yeah, okay. No, they set it back already, so... We have no control over um, Federation fleets, which is really a bit disappointing. But, uh, yeah, what can we do? We'll just let them fly around with Arthur Nicholson. Hey, he's not 80 yet, so... It's all going well. <laughs> Oh, we have the mighty Targoid here. <coughs> Should we send something here? Ah, probably not yet. Probably not yet. It's too dangerous at the moment. Third Armada is engaging a freaking station, a freaking research station. Ah. Man. Planetary capital. <coughs> yeah, and all in all, we can be a little bit smug in this in this war. Because we're gaining and gaining and gaining. They would already accept the artificial intelligence ban. But not the seed planet. Would be a next... Oh, we would need full 100% there. Ah, that's not good. But we'll wait for it a bit. Sipan has already leveled up. Nice. Yeah, Neptulus has a lot of upgrades. We have completed the research of neural implants. Cognition is little, but the processing of sensory input, it can be altered. What has it unlocked? We can now set our slaves to a stimulant diet. <laughs> uh, we can increase the habitability of the planets even more. We can go for artificial moral codes, which unlocks share the burden. We are not really interested in that, as we don't have many slaves and it's too costly anyways. So we're going to adapt to hostile environment 
to make that safer. Let's do that. And Kabir Pillai can step back. And... Hmm. Can he? Though we have plus 10% here. And... Who would give us more? Rahul Sondaram would give us more. Give us 5 and 8, give us 13%. Much better. So... Reassign. Carp your pillow. Anything else here? Mm, no. In fact, everything is going pretty well. Durasteel armor is coming. In the next episode, we'll make we'll make the galaxy a lot safer again by adding the Durasteel armor into our ship designs, and then we'll upgrade the fleet for a lot of money, <laughs> or in that case, minerals. Happy gaming to you, and see you in the next episode of Snail Wars.